to Deadly Dames and today I'm going to be looking at another um, DVD Blu-ray company that's been releasing a lot of stuff here in the UK. I've been doing a couple of these videos just sort of going over amazing companies that sort of remaster and re-release movies that have been sort of forgotten or no one's really picked it up since it was VHS or DVD. So I looked at Severin and Vinegar Syndrome and more recently Second Sight. But this one's on a relatively new company. They sort of only appeared maybe two years ago, I think. Might be slightly off with that, but they are quite recent. And they're called uh, Powerhouse Films Indicator. What really drew my attention to them is that the first couple of films that these guys announced were sort of horror films. And that's the sort of movies that I love. So what I'm going to do is I don't have everything from them um, because they are... I mean, they're amazing quality, but they are expensive, and I'd have to take out a second mortgage if I wanted to buy every Blu-ray or DVD that I actually want. But I have picked up a few titles from them which I really, really love, and there's a couple more that are coming out this year that I'm definitely going to be adding to this. So we'll start off with the just the standard Amory's, and then I'll show you a couple of box sets. So uh, Eyes of Laura Mars, and um, this is actually written by John Carpenter. I got this not that long ago actually, but I haven't actually had a chance to watch it yet, so I can't comment on how good it is. Hopefully get around to watching it soon. This is one of the titles that made me want to like check this company out. Um, happy birthday to me. This is probably excuse me, um the longest slasher film on the planet, but it was a lot of fun. That scene there with the shish kebab doesn't really actually happen in it, but it is still a good movie to watch. The bunny lane is uh, bunny. I'll try it again. Bunny leak is missing. That was hard to say. They've got um. What I would say about indicators, they're a bit of a mixed bag. They don't just have horror, or thrillers, or action. They've they've literally got movies of a wide range being released from them. But as I said, they're good quality, and a lot of the stuff that they are releasing are sort of things that other companies haven't touched, and that's what I really like. Um. This one here, I've actually seen this in DVD, but I haven't had a chance to watch it on Blu-ray yet. It's a good sort of murder mystery, um, tense thriller, I would probably say. But yeah, if you've never seen it and you like that sort of... It's not film noir, but it's got that kind of feel to it. Yeah, but it's a good good sort of murder mystery. Here's another one I actually haven't had a chance to watch yet, but I really like Stacey Keach, if I'm saying his name correctly. And uh, he's in this, and that's the reason why I picked it up. Uh, it's a new Centurions. Again, haven't had a chance to watch it. It looks like a kind of thriller cop type movie, but you need to get around to watching that. And then they have actually been sort of releasing John Carpenter stuff that no one else has sort of given any love to. I was trying to think of the best way to put that. Uh, so they have released John Carpenter's Vampires. They've also released... John Carpenter's Ghosts of Mars. Uh, vampires, I think a lot of people still enjoy. Ghosts of Mars gets a hard time, but you know something? I actually still enjoy watching this movie. I don't, like, I think this, his last great movie for me was probably In the Mouth of Madness, but I don't, I still enjoy Vampires and Ghosts of Mars. Um, the Ward, not so much, but I secretly hope that these guys release Body Bags and In the Mouth of Madness, because they're two films by John Carpenter, maybe even Prince of Darkness, but they're, they're films by John Carpenter that no one seems to have acknowledged at the moment in the UK anyway. I know that Scream Factories certainly released Body Bags and Prince of Darkness, but I don't think anybody's done Body Bags yet. Oh no, wait, I think Scream, Scream Factory did. But yeah, it'd be good if somebody gave them the actual treatment they deserve here in the UK. And then we've got... <laughs> Now, again, these are two that I haven't had a chance to watch yet, but I picked them up because they seemed really interesting on the subject matter that they're about. Um, I just need to... I need more time. If I had the, all the time in the world, I'd watch more movies. Um, but, unfortunately, life gets in the way and you actually need to work to make money to buy movies. But, uh, to serve with love. I started rambling there. It just looked really interesting. And guess who's coming to dinner? I think this movie sort of broke a taboo at the time because obviously it's a mixed race couple, which is nothing now. But back then, obviously that was a big deal, uh, and it just sounded really interesting. So I'm, I am looking forward to watching this. And then we've got 
a Brian De Palma run yet that hadn't been picked up by Arrow for some reason, but Body Double. Um, I haven't. I've seen this movie before, but I haven't watched Indicator's release of it. But based on the stuff that I have seen, I can only imagine that this is they've done a fantastic job with this. And then another John Carpenter one. This is the very first one I picked up from them, and it got me interested in what else they were going to do. And that's uh, Christine. So that's all the Amory ones that I've got. They have announced a whole load of other titles that I do want to pick up, like Wolf and Torture Garden. There's a whole load of stuff. And um, there's one, a recent one that's just came out. It's more of a comedy with Jack Nicholson. In it. I think it's called Hidden Treasure or something like that. I've probably got the title completely wrong. But he's like a cartoon character in the front carrying a treasure treasure chest. That's probably where I'm getting that from. But I, yeah, I would. I think that one looks really good as well. So I'm going to be looking out for that. Uh, now I'm going to show you the amazing box sets that these guys have released. Because their box sets are beautiful. And I've got one more that I want to get from them. That I've just not had the chance to pick up yet. But I'll show you the ones that I do have. So this is volume one so it's the wonderful worlds of ray harryhausen it's got it came from beneath the sea 20 million miles to earth and the three words of gulliver i am um, love and i mean love ray harryhausen stop motion to me is just magic and um, and as much as as much as cgi is is amazing and it looks so real there's just something magic about stop motion because it must have been painstaking to make it look like that. And even when you watch Harry House and stuff now, it's flawless uh, in the way that it was done. I just love it. There's something magical about it. And then this is volume two of the Ray Harry House and ones. So you can see here. Uh, this has got Mysterious Island, Jason and Argonauts, and The First Man in the Moon. I don't know if they're going to be doing a volume three because they did release this one as well, which is um, the Sinbad trilogy. As you can see, it is numbered, but I think the they seem to they do sort of limited edition ones to start with, and then they sort of release like standard, just a Blu-ray release, and it's not got Blu-ray and DVD. So I don't know if they'll be doing that with these, but I, I can imagine that they might do. Um, but I think they've still got some of these available. I absolutely love the Sinbad movies, and this is going with me to meet the amazing Carla Monroe. Well, her one is um, the Golden Voyage. No, the seventh voyage of Sinbad. Yeah, I'm sure it's the seventh voyage. It's late. Brain's not working. But yeah, this is definitely going to be getting signed by her. And then the last amazing box set that they released, and this is the one we're ready to give volume two, is Hammer Horror, volume one. So it's got Maniac, The Gorgon, Curse of the Mummy's Tomb, and Fanatic. It's funny because I just watched um, Grumpy Andrew's Horror House, fantastic review of The Gorgon, which is an amazing movie. The colour in this is fantastic because it's on Blu-ray. So if you are a Hammer Horror fan, I would definitely recommend this box set to you. I still need to pick up Volume 2 from the Hammer Horror releases. That's the one that I was saying. I've just not had a chance to get it yet. It's more, I think, kind of action movies rather than horror. But I am a, a Hammer Horror fan, so or a Hammer fan, should I say. So I definitely will be picking that up. But yeah, I um, just wanted to show you some of my indicator stuff. And if you like what Powerhouse Indicator is releasing... Let me know what you've picked up and what you think about them because obviously I've not had a chance to watch them all yet and recommend some titles to me because some of their stuff that they're releasing I've never heard of and um, you know what it's like. It can be expensive enough when you're picking up movies that you love, never mind taking a chance on ones that you've never seen or heard of. So let me know what you think of them. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and take care.